Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to talk you through a few quick examples using the multiplication rule of probability, which just says multiply the probability of the first event by the second event. For example, if the probability of event A is 2 ninths and event B is 3 ninths, then the probability of both events happening at the same time is 2 ninths times 3 ninths, and then you might be asked to write that as a fraction in lowest terms or as a decimal. So an example it could be suppose that 45% of the children at an elementary school bring their lunch to school. If you select three students at random, what's the probability they all bring their lunch to school? Round your answer to the hundredth of a percent. So I have three, three chances, I mean grabbing three kids all at once, 45% chance each of them is brought their lunch. And so I'm just going to multiply 45%. I'm going to change it to a decimal, 0.45, to the third power. And that's going to give me a decimal approximation. And then if I want that as a percent, I would move the decimal point over two places. And that's rounded to the hundredth of a percent. OK, in the second example, the Washington Lottery says that 26% of scratch-off tickets are winners. You buy five tickets. What's the probability there will not be any winners? So, and round your answer to the nearest ten thousandths. So if you know that 26% are winners, then 1 minus 26 would be 74%, or 0.74 is going to be the losing probability. So 74% of tickets are not winners. And so if you take 0.74 to the fifth power, because we're buying five tickets and they're all they're all losers, or not winners, however you want to say that, but they're all losers, so they all have this probability of 0.74 to the fifth power is approximately 0.2219, and that's not as a percent because they ask us just to round to the ten thousands in that one. And then example three is uh, from example two, but just a different scenario, and that is the Washington Lottery says that 26% of scratch-off tickets are winners. You buy four tickets, what's the probability that two of them will be winners? So again, we know that winners is 0.26 and that losers is 0.74. I've got two times that I'm going to get a winner, so 0.26 to the second power, and two times that I'm going to have a loser or a not winner, 0.74 to the second power, and if I multiply that out, I get 0.0370. Again, to the nearest hundredth of a percent, if I move that over two places, I get 3.70%. So if you bought four tickets, you'd only see half of those be winners less than 4% of the time. All right, have a fantastic day.